They're the fastest computers in the world, powering both the social networks we use every day now and at places like Lawrence Berkeley Labs, where they're developing the science of the future. Understanding climate change, uh, trying to develop alternative energy sources, solar panels, storage techniques like batteries, and um, also trying to understand, build more energy efficient devices. But super fast computers aren't just made here. This is the Chinese Academy of Sciences, also home to some of the world's fastest high-tech data crunching machines. And we are using this uh, supercomputing power to simulate a real industrial process that will help to make uh, uh, higher efficiency and better products. The U.S. and China are two of several countries racing to a similar goal. Build computers so fast, the fight to create better products and the fight against disease can be sped up to levels never seen before. For some job, the uh, laptop may take 10 years, but uh, on our silver computer, we need only one now. But computers made in both China and the U.S. share something else. Graphics processors made by Silicon Valley-based NVIDIA. It's almost like the space race when we were trying to put a man on the moon. A race with so much at stake, each country has turned to local technology to help. GPUs play extremely well when any task has a lot of computations or a lot of data. That's a common thing in, in what the social media companies are doing and what the scientific computing world is doing. Continuing to build faster and faster computers is very important to fueling the kind of innovations that we've had throughout all different types of businesses. From fighting cancer to building your social network, these are the machines speeding up your life.